As a central bank, it is your job to ensure that the economy runs smoothly by instituting sound monetary policies and interventions. Over the years, in an attempt to do their jobs, the Central Bank of Nigeria has recorded more failures than success. Some of these failures have been astounding, to say the least. While some have been products of good intentions with bad executions, others have been products of complete incompetence and ineptitude. Here are eight of the worst CBN fails in the past 10 years. The federal government of Nigeria has been in debt for a long time. While the law allows the central bank to literally print money out of thin air to loan the government and help shore up budget deficits, there is a stipulation that says that such loans must never exceed a certain rate. In the last 10 years, however, the CBN has broken this law in ridiculous fashion. In May 2015, the federal government debt to the country was at 789.7 billion naira. Fast forward to 2022 and the total debt is now at 23.8 trillion naira. This figure is simply astounding and unprecedented. In comparison, from December 2012 to May 2015, the debt rose by 654.9 billion naira. But between January and October 2022 alone, the government drew 5.6 trillion naira. The result? Even worse inflation and a huge debt burden. To deal with the economic recession following the oil price crash of 2016, the CBN introduced a dual exchange system. This system would result in the creation of an official exchange rate, which has been proven to be utterly unrealistic and which would result in significant shortage of dollar availability. As any reasonable economist would predict, this drove most people to the black market where they were able to get the dollars they needed, but at a black market exchange rate that is almost double the official rate. What's more, the introduction of the first exchange rate did nothing to help the economy. The Naira fell even further and inflation is still a huge problem both on the official market and the black market. In another misguided effort to, quote, curtail money laundering and terrorism, CBN decided to ban all cryptocurrency activities in Nigeria. As always, the result was the opposite of what they wanted to achieve. Instead of stopping the use of cryptocurrency, all the CBN ban did was increase cryptocurrency activities in the country. Following the ban, numerous international exchanges reported a record increase in cryptocurrency transactions in Nigeria. To make up for the crypto ban, the CBN tried to introduce their own digital currency, the e-Naira. And even though the CBN tried their best to promote the e-Naira, the result was another massive fail. With an adoption of less than 0.5% of the population, it was clear that CBN's digital currency had no appeal to the population. Most people preferred crypto. In 2016, while the entire country suffered from foreign exchange scarcity, and the CBN continued to remain adamant about its rigid exchange rate that had no reflection of actual market realities, this did not stop them from authorizing expensive foreign subsidies for religious programs heading to Mecca and Jerusalem. Why? Because they believed their prayers would increase the Naira's value. The subsidies cost the country about 8 billion Naira. In December 2022, the CBN ordered banks and financial institutions all over the country to ensure that weekly cash withdrawals by individuals and corporate entities do not exceed 100,000 Naira and 500,000 Naira, respectively. The bank also fixed daily maximum withdrawals through POS to 20,000 Naira. This move came about as a step towards moving Nigerian economy towards being a cashless one. And while many agree that the intention here is the right one, it is also agreed that the central bank did this with carelessness and complete disregard for the policy's consequences on regular people in the short term. Admitting its mistakes, the CBN would later increase personal weekly limit to 500,000 Naira and corporate limit to 5 million Naira every week. The CBN announced the introduction of new Naira notes in October 2022. 
Many criticized this move as focusing on the wrong issue while the country suffered from worse problems that needed immediate attention. Nevertheless, the new notes were rolled out with the bank announcing that the old Naira notes will cease to be legal tenders by January 31st, 2023. The problem? The deadline arrived and most people don't have access to the new notes yet. Some haven't even laid eyes on them. As the bank continues to insist on the January 31 deadline, countless Nigerians are thrown into disarray with small businesses having to stop their operations thanks to the uncertainty about the country's legal tenders. The fact that these policies were introduced so close to the upcoming election also raised a few eyebrows. Lastly, it will be remiss of us to talk about CBN fails without mentioning that the president of the bank is currently facing allegations of financing terrorism from the Department of State Services. And that's it on the eight things the CBN has gotten wrong in recent years. Did we miss any and how have these policies affected you? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you in the next video.